Well, it's about two days until we are leaving, and uh, the boat, she is pretty much ready to go. Got a few minor projects left. Um, we put a new head in, and I need to replace the uh, water feed line just because it looked old and kind of got bent in a weird direction when I put the new filter on. So that, and we also, today I brought a uh, dock cart full of goodies and it's got our life raft in it which weighs about roughly 888 pounds totally like totally ripped my buys yo This week on Sailing SV Layla, we set out with an end goal of reaching the Bahamas, the first step of which is an ocean leg from Charleston, South Carolina to St. Augustine, Florida. So I'm here doing boat projects while Lauren and her parents get our food together. Then on Wednesday morning, we are off to Sarasota. Then we will take the ICW down to Fort Pierce, uh, which will be our jumping off point to get to the Bahamas, the Abacos, and uh, onward from there. So. We were trying to leave at high tide. Instead, wasting time. This is what we're doing. Guys, it's your husband decided to <laughs> cut out wires that were useful for our trap water. We think we've identified it. Which one is the power? <clears throat> I added some stuff. We put an electric head and a Wi-Fi extender, so I was reassigning things in the circuit breaker. One of which was the chart plotter. Yeah, I kind of forgot that last step. Yeah, it's pure 30. <laughs> what is it, like 9 o'clock, if that? 8.51. 8.51. Moral of the story is, don't remove wires that you're not certain are useless. And check everything <laughs> to make sure it works after you mess with the electrical system. Done and done. It's working. Put everything back together. Bye, Charleston. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Looks like we're losing half a knot to turn. Uh, we shouldn't be yet. We shouldn't be anywhere near Gulf Stream yet. I would, I would say it's more due to wind and waves. So we are headed into St. Simon's Island? Yeah, Ow. more or less. We're heading to the ICW. Probably take it all the way down to probably all the way down to Fort Pierce because we know south of St. Augustine the Gulf Stream is really close to shore so you fight it pretty hard. So we were thinking it was going to be about 30 hours, a little bit more, to uh, Fort Pierce. Uh, St. Augustine. To St. Augustine. And instead we made it to uh, Georgia in about 36 hours. Yeah. Pretty rough southerly seas. Fight. Knots of progress in the direction we wanted to go. So we kept trying to like went out farther to see if we could get smoother motion, but I think then we got tied up in a little bit of the edge of the Gulf Stream and maybe even some eddies because no matter what we did, we had current fightness. So we got really frustrated. So yeah, yeah, it's an interesting start. We don't get better. <sighs> yeah. But you know, people do it all different ways. I mean, our way was to sail in multiple different directions, kicking our own ass all night. 
So essentially we changed our plan and headed inland to St. Simons, Georgia. From there we would take the ICW down to St. Augustine. And then hopefully on down to Fort Pierce and over to the Bahamas. So we are fleeing St. Simons. Don't say the name. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so we kind of stayed someplace we weren't really technically 100% officially supposed to stay last night because the uh, Yacht Club Marina is apparently closed for liability reasons due to the hurricane damage. But a lot of the docks are fine. And the marina was completely full. Uh, transient docks were packed. I think a lot of the tenants from the Yacht Club were probably over there. And it was really... We were really tired. It was late and it was dark. and. We did not feel like anchoring in three knot current, so sometimes you just gotta tie up where you can tie up, man. So we just did. And uh, a very nice man who will remain nameless. Uh, I think he was about to chase us off, and he finally was like, you know what? I didn't see you. You don't know me. We got up early, and uh, we were gonna try and get fuel, but the fuel dock and the courtesy dock, the transient dock, are the same thing, and it's just packed. So we decided to just. Just cruise on out silently without uh, having to speak to anybody. There's a lot of marinas down the ICW. We'll fill up someplace else. Now we're going down the ICW, which was our plan originally, but not this much of it. This is kind of what it felt like times 10 on the last two days of our trip with 20 knot winds. Who knows how long it'll take us to get where we're going. A while. Nobody was happy for a good day there. Yeah, I kept going, oh, it's only gonna be 30 hours, and then we hit 30 hours, and it's like, we're nowhere near where we thought we were gonna be. How's that winch? see the shape of that thing when you press it out there. Okay, our day today. We are currently anchored uh, on the ICW. Uh, south of, where the heck were we? Fernandina Beach area. Oh, fish are jumping. <clears throat> and uh, just hanging out. The river's getting a little bit of water off the stern. Trying not to be shark bait. We did see a family of little sharks out there. That's the sound of our engine overheating. Annoying, right? Trust us, we know. That was a big part of our problems out in the Atlantic, and it didn't let up once we came inside. We are a slow boat to the Bahamas if we ever get to the Bahamas. <laughs> 
It, it is a distinct possibility. We might not. Probably will not make it. We need to seriously address our motoring capability. Yeah. I don't know, we can try to take that strainer apart too. Yeah. Strainer or heat exchanger? Heat exchanger, I mean, sorry. Strainer's fine. This guy is barreling along, downwind, down current. Pushing a bow wave. <laughs> Look at the land next to us. That's how fast we're moving. So there's the bridge that we uh, we just tried to go through. Tried. 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 We our engine keeps overheating, and so the current through there is so strong that we were literally just sitting well, in the middle of it. Yeah, and we, we usually cruise at like 2,500 RPM when our motor's not overheating. So we were trying to go through there at like 2300 and we saw pretty soon that like we weren't going to get it so I'm like, that would put it down about 27, 2800 and we got to right at the very opening in the middle there and just sat still and it's jerking me back and forth and like jerking the boat all over the place and the motor starts overheating and like we think we can push through but I mean it wouldn't go. We hit zero on our course on speed on the ground. Didn't have room to turn around in there so I had to slow down uh, in forward and steered in forward while moving backward. So the current was moving over our rudder, and that's what I was trying to steer, keep the boat straight by, but we were being pushed backward. And luckily, we just cleared the edge of that wall before it was pushing us sideways. And uh, so then I popped it in neutral, threw it in reverse, and put the hammer down and like started to spin it around and two boats behind us almost ran into each other. Sorry. Another we could do, they had to see it happen. Like, like we were going in reverse. Sorry boats. Freaking bridge, so. Yeah. So we're gonna wait here for the current to slow down a little bit. Now oh, baby's getting a diaper change, I'm next. Five. Those white caps in the middle, that's what we're trying to go through. Let's see if this works. Did you do that? What? It, it just it, backed down by itself. It throttled down by itself. Oh, really? Yeah. So, abort! <laughs> yeah. There's a boat behind us. Back by itself. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought you did it. Yeah. You heard it though, right, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that. We'll try again, bridge. Hopefully, I mean we have to. Yeah, it was it was uh, at some point we have to get through there. Okay. Our adventures continue with the bridge. I failed because the motor decided to throttle back on itself a little bit and it freaked me out and we were fighting the two knot difference. Third time's a charm. What's so, the difference? Oh. It doesn't look as like crazy though. Doesn't have the white caps coming through. Yeah, because we looked it up and so low tide's supposed to be at 5. We're back in here, it's not 640. These two yeah, boats so coming up on us. Oh, so they have the ability to go other ways. No. No, this is the only way. Uh, there's still a bunch of current coming through.
that took us an hour and a half, but it's the the bridge straight south of Pablo Escobar. It's got a really really narrow cut through. Yeah, so don't hit that at uh, anything other than the tide that flowing the same direction that you want to be going. And with any type of wind at your nose is going to mess you up. We're waiting to get into a marina. We called them, said we want a transient dock. And they're like, yeah, come on in, no problem. We got some before you just go to the fuel dock. We ran aground the second we turned in to the marina. And the baby fell. At the same and the time. baby fell down. And, and our village pump. As we determined later, our, and when we kind of like rocked to the side a little bit, our bilge pump kicked on and shot a bunch of water out the side of the And they were calling the, us all at the same time. And they were calling us on the radio. And I'm like, what the hell is that water? And we backed out and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, we only, we're only four feet in here and we got a super low tide. You guys are gonna have to wait about an hour to come in. I'm like, okay, fine. So we're anchored again, waiting. And this again. is after beating our brains out trying to get under that goddamn bridge back there. <laughs> Because the current was funneling in the, so fast that the first time we could not get through. Like our boat hit zero speed over ground and we were sitting there with the throttle kicked up higher than we normally can because it overheats. And it overheated. And Atlantic Boulevard Bridge. Yeah. But so I had to I had to like steer and slow forward while the current took us backward till we just made it outside of the little cross through pilings and under the bridge and threw it in reverse and powered out of there and like spun it around and all this current it was rather exciting <laughs> two boats behind us almost hit each other because they were watching us so then we just basically did laps back and forth the same stretch of river waiting for the, the current to ease up enough for us to get under and then we finally just gunned it and barreled our way through there. And the second we got through on the other side, the engine overheated again. <laughs> so we got something to figure out. Because it's, it's doing it now in weird times when we're only running like 2300. The, the engine overheating has been kind of been the root of all of our evils. We just don't have a lot of powering ability. So when we were out in the Atlantic and had all that wind and waves coming right at us we couldn't just put the hammer down and just motor into it and get where we needed to go and so that caused us to try to find a better route to sail try to go out offshore more which we found a bunch of current out there I think part of it was actual edge of the Gulf Stream and part of it was maybe an eddy or whatever because no matter what we did we wound up with current going against yeah. us and so we did made we made the right decision after that and bailed out and decided to come in at St. Simon's Island. But then we were late getting into that marina, so there weren't any transient docks, so we wound up parking someplace we weren't really supposed to. And then yeah. in the morning, the fuel dock was full and we kinda didn't really want to talk to people that much, so we just took off. But but that was heedless of what the current was doing. We're like we're, like we're going. And we just found ourselves kind of except for one short glorious brief amount of time when we actually had the current going with us we were just fighting it all the time because every time you come down to a, a mouth out to the ocean you know you may be riding down with the current but as soon as you cross that mouth and go back into the icw again now you're fighting that same current so unless you time everything up perfectly you're you know you're really bucking the current yeah and, and then because we're limited on engine yeah, horsepower, so we, we can't, can't just power through that either. Yeah, we, yeah. So we're just going slow. So we got to figure out our motoring issues before, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe we'll eat out when we get up there. Whatever, I'm going to the bar. Don't put them on camera looking like that. <laughs> You've got a binky ring from all the grossness on your face. One of these guys. Dude's got a cape on. Okay, 
how you party in Jacksonville, Florida. Got some sunburn. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Cheers! Cheers.